Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Creatine is famous for being beneficial for muscle performance and growth because it helps with energy metabolism. The brain is also a very energy hungry organ, so does creatine help with brain function? The authors of this systematic review wanted to answer the question as to whether creatine helps with memory in healthy people. So let's have a look in more detail. As mentioned, the brain needs a lot of energy and creatine plays a key role in the bioenergetics of cells, both in muscles and in the brain. There is some evidence that it is possible to augment the creatine levels in the brain, though it is less clear how much this happens through supplementation. If we increase creatine in the brain, this should show an increase in cognitive function, such as memory. This review looked at human randomized controlled trials that were studying the impact of creatine on memory. In the end, there were eight trials which met the criteria and were included in the meta-analysis. Overall, creatine improved measures of memory compared to placebo. There was, however, a more robust improvement in older adults. The dose of creatine did not seem to matter. Interestingly, most of the studies used 20 grams per day, which is a lot. Five grams seems more normal. Gender and location did not seem to matter either. And the conclusion is that for older adults aged 66 to 76, creatine did improve memory. One of the difficulties that the authors faced was that there is no standard way of measuring memory and multiple different assessment tools were used. Here are the specific ones that they used in the trials and we can see that there is a range of tests comparing the outcomes is therefore not simple. Here is the summary of the table for the trials. This part shows the results where the bars to the right of the line show an improvement with creatine and those to the left show a degradation. The dot in the middle is the mean for each result. This is the mean of the means and the improvement was just significant with a p-value of 0.02. The authors performed a number of subgroup analyses to see what was the deciding factors, especially looking at low dose, less than five milligrams per day or high dose, more than five milligrams. For the length of the study, two weeks of supplementation or more, and by gender, all of which showed no significant difference. However, splitting by age group did. For young adults and children, there was essentially no benefit. But for older adults, in this case, those 66 to 76 years old, the improvement was significant with a larger effect size. Creatine levels do decrease with age, and the authors considered that the lower existing levels, which can be more easily increased by exogenous creatine, may be responsible for the added benefit seen. The effect may be clinically relevant, but needs to be further researched. The result was quite robust in older adults, but the difference in tests, dosing regimens, and lengths of study meant that the result was also quite varied. I'm already taking five grams of creatine a day, so great to see some stronger evidence pointing to it helping with cognitive abilities such as memory without requiring a higher dose. I hope that you found this helpful. Thank you for your attention, and I will speak to you all again soon.